Hello everyone, my name is the Lego Kid 2003 and uh, uh, here we are back again with another Beyblade uh, first review and we are, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to be taking a look at Emperor Fornius or Fornius F4 and right now the only way to uh, get Fornius is in the starter pack, so Hopefully I got it, so let's take it apart, look at each of the pieces, show off the QR code, y'all know the drill. So uh, here's the layer, and as I've already discussed in my review of the uh, Rail Rush battle set, the Hasbro versions of these, there are two things that I need to tell you guys about. Two. First off, these aren't made of metal. The plastic. Also, since that little uh, there's the little diamond thing and these two little notches right here, you can use level chips on these. I don't have level chips, so I can't really show you guys. But hey, there are other bay tubers out there like Zanky and Illinok and all those wonderful people that can show you. So, anywho. Here is the QR code, pause the video, scan the code, all that cool stuff. Actually, make sure. There we go. So yeah, there's the code. So there's the layer. And now for the disc. Zero. As evidenced by the zero, of course. The, not only is it probably one of the roundest um, core discs that has been made, but also, from what I've heard, this is also one of the heaviest. I don't really have a scale, so I can't really show you guys how heavy exactly this thing is. Again, other baby tubers can, but there actually is another way to get this disc. And that's with the Surprise and Requiem starter. I might get that at some point. I don't know. I'll just have to think it over. But hey. And also, with the little notches, you can put frames on this. So, there's that. Finally, the driver. I believe, actually, I don't even remember what the code for this one is. Anyways, this is called Yard, well, the Hasbro version, Yard S. I say S because I do this right. Crap. There we go. And actually, change the tip. So the whole deal with these new bays is that... <coughs> All of the, well, not all, since there's all materials with anchor, but a huge majority of these new drivers actually has a little gimmick where you can switch the tips from slingshot mode to battle ring mode and back again. And just like the Takaratomi one, this one does have a free spinning. A ball, so whenever you put it into slingshot mode, the ball will actually fall. Not fall out, but just fall. So let's get this together. Make sure I put it together right. I mean, technically, there is no correct way, but I'm very precise when it comes to putting these together. There we are. Boop. So, got my stadium out, and also before we test spin it, there's the launcher for these guys. And once again, well, not really once again, but um, the ripcord is the same as the ones for the Switch Strike ones, so this is kind of foreshadowing for 
phase later down the line. I'm not spoiling anything though. No spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you which phase are gonna be coming up. Cause I don't even know if Hasbro's gonna make them. Anyways. Anyways. To the stadium, my good friends. Alright, I'm back. So, once again, here's Emperor Fornius. So, let's see if I can successfully test spin him without this camera falling. Huh, not bad. Great, this thing's gonna be tough to beat. It is incredibly calm. Something tells me if you try hitting this thing, it's just gonna go right back to the center. Anyways, I'm probably not going to show off Slingshock mode, since it has a habit of being extremely noisy. Just take my word for this, it's going to end up spending a lot of time here. Actually, you know what? Let's actually see if I can get it on camera. Boop. Get ready for the mayhem, y'all. This is going to go nuts. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so it just moves around a little more for this one. I was not really expecting that, but uh, this is a defense type, so this kind of makes sense. But for bays like Wonder Valtriac and possibly even Brutal Bluewarner, trust me, it will end up riding along the edges. And also, every single time, so we're gonna end up doing that. Ah, the camera's crooked. But, hey. Twist. Push. Twist. Flip. So, there's my little look at Emperor Fornius. If you guys liked it, then comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay awesome.